can totally be a movie director. I mean, I've seen tons of movies, and I've seen Star Wars at least 50 times. I mean, I'd probably be better at directing than I am at yo-yoing. Dude, you're 26 years old. You've never been in charge of anything in your life. And you're amazing with that yo-yo. But directing is easy. Uh, you. Read your lines again. Uh, you. Act better. It's simple. I guess you got a point. All you need is a leading man, and the movie writes itself. Just look at every single movie of Channing Tatum. He's this generation's Brad Pitt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. First of all, this generation's Brad Pitt is Brad Pitt. Secondly, Brad's won Sexiest Man Alive twice. Two lifetimes of sexiness in one body. I mean, have you even seen Thelma and Louise? And another thing. You want to talk about landmarks in filmmaking? How about the pinnacle? Signed by Brad himself. Dude, we should totally do this. Look, there's even prize money. Three hundred dollars. Think of all that. Then everyone will know how brilliant I am. Now all we need is an idea. What is it? Oh, okay. What's everyone's favorite holiday? Christmas. Halloween! That's right. What's everyone's favorite movie? Cool World. No, it's Star Wars, you dummy. Look. Ah. What's with all the hearts? It's a love story. Okay, so this guy dressed as Han Solo goes to a Halloween party where he tries to find his Princess Leia. That is, unless her boyfriend, dressed as Emperor Palpatine, doesn't get in between them. I call it han -loween. Okay, so... that's you? Eh, possibly, possibly. And that's... me. Oh, we'll, we'll work it out in casting. Sure. Alright, man. I'm in, but, uh... I think I want to be Han Solo. Alright, great! I'll start writing! I'll just, I'll bring the shoulders in, and then I'll take them out. I like that. Mm -hmm. I'll take them in. Yeah. I think what I like, what that did when you read that line was it queued up my line so I could speak more on the right, camera. Right, right. So I did like that. I would like that more. And try to cut your lines, because you can't speak. I don't think Travis is going to like that either when he shows up. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's kind of a movie about me. Uh, we talked about the casting. And... All right. Let's uh, hit the lights. Cue the music. And we're set, we're set, and action! The force is strong with this party. I love this party. I know. The guy dressed as Boba Fett really knows how to throw a party. Boba Fett? Where? Watch it! I'm no good, you did. Leia, this party is lame. We must 
leave this scoundrel. Scoundrel? The sound of that. I can smell your fear. I am defenseless. Strike me down with your hatred. Lighten up, fuzzball. Cut! What was wrong with that one? We need to do it again. I didn't feel it. But that was like the tenth one we've done, dude. One of them has to be good enough by now. Good enough? Good enough does not win us the awards and praise. Okay, now let me fix this. Okay, uh, Matt, come here. Uh, Marcus, come here. Okay. Now, what I need you to do is... I hope he's right. Okay. I need that 300 bucks. $300? That's what has you so stressed out? I mean, besides, you have to split that. Do you know what $300 split in half is? It's $150. Oh my god. You thought I ever fell for him? I thought I ever was sick! I know! You know you want to buy her and you're a piece of shit lying in a dumpster! So you're the worst fucking action in person, okay? You're not bad at him! He's being a jerk to those guys. He's always eating those cheese puffs. <laughs> what a day. Travis, I don't think that your idea is a good one. What do you mean? I mean, this is the Wexner Film Competition. This isn't Comic-Con. We need to do something smart, something something racy, not, not, not Star Wars. We need something political. But I don't want to make a political movie. I knew that you wouldn't. That's why, that's, that's why I've started my own script. It's called, it's political. It's, it's called Assassination. It's, it's got everything you need. This is the kind of movie that's going to win the competition. I don't understand. Look, it, it's nothing personal, Travis. It's just business. Do you have any idea what half of 300 is? 150. That's not enough for me to get the autographed Cool World. And besides, your movie's going nowhere, and you're not even that good of a director. Well, well fine. Make your stupid movie. My movie's not the stupid movie. Yours is the stupid movie. <laughs> is the stupid, is the stupid movie. Well... Good night. Look, Travis. I said good night. Justice may be blind, but she loves the smell of a stack of money. Who am I, you ask? I'm Honest Abe Liberty. I'm an investigative reporter signed to cover the Ohio Capitol building. The beat's been pretty bland. It is until a couple weeks ago. I stumbled upon a plot to assassinate the governor. When I found out who called the hit, I couldn't believe my ears. The mayor himself. Clouds! They say honesty is the best policy. That policy never seems to get the votes. <sighs> Too fast! Now I have to race against time to uncover and expose this plot before the mayor sets his sights on his next target. Me. <sighs> it's too tiny! What kind of nation are we living in? I'll tell you what kind of nation. An assassin. Nation. I have to give the briefcase of evidence to the governor before. Walk away, honest Abe. Who is this? This is Governor Radcliffe. S sir, 
I have this briefcase of evidence that you need. It's about the plot to kill you. This goes beyond me. This goes beyond you. Walk away. Sir, with all due respect, I'm an American journalist, and we go and seek the truth, no matter what the cost, even if it means sacrificing our lives. And... cut. Great, man. Now all I need is to find somebody to play the governor. I only have three friends. You're here. I fucking hate Travis right now. He's in San Diego. Alan. He's perfect. Okay. Now I just need someone to replace Adam. That's what I call a snowman. <laughs> that money's mine. Hey guys, what's up? Alan, I need your acting ability to be in my exciting, psychological, political thriller. Alan, I don't need you to be in a stupid movie. I need you to be in my heartfelt, comedic, love story, sci-fi drama. I got here first. Everyone's sick of your stupid Star Wars film. I started my movie first. Besides, who is going to edit it? Who will do the soundtrack? You have nothing without me. I can edit my film just fine without you. Besides, who's going to star in yours? Who's, who's funny, charming, who's strikingly attractive, who, Alan here? No. He's, he's no Brad Pitt. He, he's, he's a Channing Tatum at best. What's gotten into you two? You're like brothers. You guys have been partners for your whole life. A prize of $300. $300 brought you to this? Come on. Real partners wouldn't let money like that get between them? He's holding me back from my dream job of directing. Lies! He just wants Cool World all for himself. Cool World isn't even that good of a movie. A line. Whatever, he's finally gone. Now you can be in my movie, Alan. Think of all that money. 150 big ones. Damn, 150 bucks? Aw, oh, man.
beautiful day, isn't it? Perfect day to feed the birds. Funny thing about birds, put a piece of bread out there, they tear it to pieces. It's because they got to do whatever it takes at any cost to get what they want. No, no, no. They fight and they squabble, but they, at the end, they all get what they need. They all get their fair share. They all get fed. All of them. See, those birds need each other. They know their friendships more important than just a little piece of bread. You can't fly in a V formation alone. Nope. Nothing in this world is more important than friendship. These birds can teach us a whole lot. Hmm. Birds. You're right. Rat pit does look amazing in this. Yeah? Wait till the next scene. Should you finish your movie? Nah. You were right. I can't edit or anything without you, man. What about you? Are you staying here? No. You're right. Alan's no leading male. Got you something. What? But. But well, you just said you didn't enter the competition. Where, where'd you get the money? I didn't have to. I went in the store, I talked the guy down. I mean, it's just cool. He didn't know the gem that he had in his store. The guy's an idiot. Thanks, Travis. Hey, I got you something too. Yeah, check it out. Oh, a new shirt. You know, we don't need to make movies for contests. It's like two birds fighting over bread, right? What? I mean, we don't need a competition as an excuse to make movies. Like, like we can make han Halloween. Yeah, and we can make Assassination, just on our own. Right. Hey. Fuck film competition. That a lot. Brad the shit pit, you know what I mean?